everyone, my name is Andrew Hess and today I wanted to go over how I learned Power Apps. Now there's tons of different ways that people are learning Power Apps. There's trainings going on out there. I just want to go over how I learned it and my journey through Power Apps and how you can learn it too. So I believe most of us have seen Copilot here, but we can do something like dog information, with their breed, color, size, and uh, location. So this is Copilot. You know, you can just come in here, type in Copilot, and have it generate things. And so it's going to build on top of Dataverse. I don't think that everyone wants their Power Apps to look the same, especially, you know, you're going to want your own branding for your Power App uh, based on your company. So we have Copilot, it's nice. It kind of builds templates for us right now. Um, so I think for the next two, three years, it's just gonna be building templates. But this can help you learn, right? So we can look at the template, we can look at the search bar here, but let's look at the, let's look at the gallery. Look at how it's using search. It's searching dog information by the search text right here, the search text, and then it's searching these fields. But this is tip number one, when you are building, check out these Microsoft templates. Obviously we have Copilot, but if you go back, there are many other templates that you can start off with. So when you create new and you start with an app template, these are other ways to learn um, different things that Microsoft has, has done. Okay, so now the first thing I did to learn Power Apps, now I, I wanna talk to you about how I started learning Power Apps. So I was kind of poking around and this was, let me see, I think 2018. So we're talking a while ago. I was kind of poking around Power Apps. I was watching, uh, I believe Shane Young, he was still learning right then. So I'll talk more about Shane Young to begin with, but I was watching Shane Young, watching him create things and kind of break apart the Power Apps and, and find their different properties. And then 2019 came, you know, I wasn't really focused in Power Apps yet. I kind of just had a couple, you know, pointers clicked here and there. And then I worked for the government. My boss came to me and he's like, we got to have a form and we got to have it now. And we got to be able to have people fill it out and the data go to an on-premise SQL. And as soon as that happened, my boss was like, we need this form within two days. We don't have time, you know, for a full stack development. We don't have time for .NET. And... I, I literally worked probably 16 hours a day and I was just kind of learning and I threw together a power app to store data. I can't go into all the details about it, but it was for the government and it was for, you know, what happened in 2020. And that's how my power apps journey really started it is when it really took off is when I started working from home every day and I would watch these YouTubes and I would watch other people create things. And so that kind of developed and then I started creating more and these Power Apps really started uh, taking off. So then uh, I kept building Power Apps. I ended up winning an award, NACO award, for one of my Power Apps, working on a team with some other people from housing. We built one called For Lease to Home. So we can see I, I did get this award. It's kind of hard to see, but it has my name on it. I got recognition for my Power App, totally awesome. Power App helped house people that were in need when the housing market kind of got out of control and they needed help housing. It was called Lease to Home. I, I won't go into all the details, but that did win the award, and hopefully I, I get a chance to brag about it because I am very proud of it. So after kind of poking around, watching Shane Young a little bit, and watching his excitement, I started doing Microsoft Learn, right? So you can search Microsoft Learn. I, I'll put this in the properties, and there's apps in a day right here, instructor-led training. Now you have to be careful. They might pull you into model-driven, right? It's kind of, it all kind of pulls you into model driven. Maybe you're not ready. Your company's not ready for model driven yet. Uh, but but they're going to start to pull you into that. Microsoft kind of you know pulls you right into model driven as they keep going. For me, I started with Canvas Power Apps, right? So this comes with Office 365 license. Many of the select different licenses. This comes with that. So you can get started with Power Apps. And I started with Canvas. So you see here, create a Canvas app. And then they go into Dataverse. I, I, I kind of skipped over this uh, at first when I started learning. And then they went into model-driven, and, and I, I kind of skipped over that too. 
I focused on Canvas Power Apps because that's where Shane Young was. Maybe uh, that's where the bias came in, is was learning Canvas Apps. Now there is a Power Apps community call that happens uh, once a month. Now you can come search uh, in YouTube, right? And search for the Power Platform Community Call. So you can join the community call. It's hosted by David Warner. I, I saw him at a uh, at the event at the Power Platform Conference. I don't know if he recognized me. But if you come in here right here, download invite for the monthly Power Platform Community Call. Now, I, I forgot to mention this, but of course you can join Microsoft Developer Program so my, for free. The developer program right and you can get your own environment uh, now it is a renewable uh, subscription it lasts for 90 days and you can get your own tenant and, and don't let this uh, intimidate you you can get your own tenant it will renew itself start creating your own power apps in your own development environment you could try and break a Microsoft this is very helpful to get you to learn everything okay now this is where I'm gonna get biased and I'm sorry if I leave anyone out, but this is just who I learned from. And if you want to leave, you know, uh, a person that you learned from in the comments, please do, right? Please add someone in the comments. Tell everyone who you're learning from, who you think is great. I know I'm not the best at this. I, I am learning also, but I also have my own content. But the first person I learned from, and we're talking 2018, 2019, was Shane Young. So this is where I, I started learning from. And Shane Young has Power Apps 911. I'm not endorsing him, but they will give you training for a price. And their company was there at the Power Platform Conference. This is who I, I believe is the top YouTuber of the Power Platform. So uh, during the Power Platform Conference, obviously I met up with Shane Young. I, I definitely recommend learning from Shane Young. All right, the next person that I learned from is Reza Durrani. Now this person is very detailed in the way he explains Power Apps. And the way he does things is excellent. This is the second person that I would say uh, to learn from. And this is not in a specific order, right? I'm not putting people in order. I, just, I think Reza, Shane, everybody does teaches in a different way. And actually, if you start learning from all of them and combine, it's almost kind of like, uh, uh, what's the quote? Let me get the quote. So Bruce Lee started his own style and it was called Ji Kune Do, right? And this style was of all styles. It would he would say be formless, you know, shape like water. And this is just uh, some couple tips, right? He would learn, he learned Wing Chun and he learned boxing and he learned fi uh, fencing and judo and jujutsu. And then he combined them all into this one form, be formless. So learn from everybody in Power Apps, right? And kind of combine all of their ways that they do things, and that way your style is the be uh, can be the best style after you learn from everybody. <laughs> that's just a little side talk, but that's just my way of, of bringing uh, some more talk into about using Power Apps. All right, this is another person that I learned a lot from was Daniel Christian. He's very detailed in the way he does things. Uh, I really enjoyed his videos. His videos are excellent. And so I, I've learned a lot from him. And obviously all these people, they have their own little memberships that you can join. And maybe you like uh, learning from other people, you know? Maybe you like uh, Reza better than Shane. I'm not putting these people in order. Just you pick the person you like and, and learn from them. So I, I saw Daniel Christian also at the Power Platform Conference. It was great to meet him for the first time. What's really weird is we actually live very close to each other, like maybe an hour and a half drive. We live so also we have Darren Neese. I've been learning a lot from Darren Neese. He has this great uh, tutorials that he does. He's been doing a lot of live uh, complete Power Apps building. So he's actually building things live and people are coming and watching him. He goes into freelancing a lot. So if you want to be a freelancer, uh, Darren Neese is also a great person to learn from. I, I have learned a lot from him. He's very supportive of me. I actually met him through Facebook. Uh, like kind of we were posting in the same Facebook groups. So that's another thing. Use the Facebook groups. Uh, there's some some good ones out there. Sometimes you kind of get some spam. Uh, but I've been, that's where I met Darren. I, I hope to meet him in person someday. So Darren, if you're watching this, someday we got to meet in person. Okay, so Christine. Christine is amazing at UI UX. Turning Power Apps into not look like Power Apps, right? So you can see right here, kind of make uh, Power Apps look like modern applications. That is Power Apps right there. Like, holy wow. She had a workshop at the Power Platform Conference. I wasn't able to meet her, 
but this person can really make your power apps just explode and not look like power apps anymore, right? You have SharePoint and no one, people pay these big companies to make SharePoint not look share, like SharePoint anymore. Well, this is power apps, make it not look like power apps anymore. Okay, so once Microsoft finally pulled me into the Dataverse and I started learning the Dataverse and started learning model-driven apps, this is the person that I started learning model-driven apps from. So this is Lisa Crosby. This is where I was really learning model-driven apps well. Uh, she explains it so well. You can see her main picture right here is Power Apps Model-Driven Apps, full course for beginners. This is when I started learning uh, model-driven apps. I started learning from Lisa. So I did meet her also at the Power Platform Conference. She was there. So all these great YouTubers were there. I met her. This is where I started learning model-driven Power Apps. I recommend her channel to learn anything model-driven. Okay, next up, and like I said, this is not in any order. Matthew Devaney's blogs are incredible. His detail, the way he explains things and, and shows you how to do it, this is Power uh, Automate, but some of the Power Apps things that he does also are just amazing. That, you know, he puts in the nice code for you. These blogs are incredible, I'm telling you. I think that Matthew Devaney's work has helped me tremendously at my job. So I 3000% recommend Matthew Devaney's blog. You can also sign up for his newsletter. Once, once again, you know, I'm not getting paid by him. You can see that there are only 8,000 uh, subscribers. He should have a ton more. His blogs are incredible, totally incredible. So here is Matthew Devaney. I took a picture with him last year. I wasn't able to this year. I did talk to him for a minute but totally recommend him, his blogs, his newsletters, his information on LinkedIn that you'll find is really huge. So now that we're talking about LinkedIn, there's another person that has really been helping me find new people to learn from in Power Apps. So I believe every week, Ralph Hyde or Heed, I'm sorry how I'm saying your name, but he is posting, you know, these people who are creating these videos. So every week he's posting, you know, right here, Shane Young, Reza, Damian Bird, Daniel Christian, Christine Payton, Stephen Corey, Mike Thofson. So he is searching through everybody's videos, through all this content and the Power Platform, and then he's posting it in a LinkedIn post. I believe they all go to his, uh, his site, but totally amazing. So you can see here, it's right to HubSite 365. So the, the websites are, the videos are embedded in his site, but totally helpful, totally huge. I totally recommend following Ralph Heed on, or Hyde, on LinkedIn. All right, so finally, I've given you all this information on how you can increase your Power Apps, your Power Platform journey. Hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully this was a good video. And next week's we're gonna really start getting designing more Power Apps. I kinda wanna get into the new modern look and feel. Uh, Microsoft has recommended that we all kinda go to the modern. There's gonna be no easy way to convert an old Power App to the new modern look and feel. So we'll get into that. I hope this was helpful. Uh, if you have anyone that you want to add to my video, please, I, I will make, I will pin a, a text field at the top of this video and we'll list out everybody that you watch. If there's anybody that I missed or someone that you enjoy more than me or anyone else, I'm not here to tell you who to learn from. I'm just saying there's a wonderful community out there Hopefully you appreciate this video and anyone who is involved, uh, thank you. Please like and subscribe and let's all learn together. My name is Andrew Hess. I'll see you next time.